as y'all know, we just beat Dan Ige and rematched Ilya Taporia, which we knocked, but we, I stopped Dan Ige, and I knocked out Ilya Taporia again, so you feel me? Dana called me, he was like, hey, we got Jija G, Chicago, he number four, you number seven, I mean, let's do it, you feel me? I saw him right off the top, but training this type of thing. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Hey, yo, oh, man. Here is Bruce Buffer. Hopefully, they give me a title shot after this. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in or Max the Holloway, but Max Holloway didn't have a real contender. There's people in front of me. Introducing first. We're going to see. Out of the blue corner, Butcher. And now introducing his opponent. You got to say, he got some new fights. Giga Ninja Chikaze. Yeah, it's a money. Ready, ready. 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 All right, so here he is, ready for round one. This man is all the rage, given what he did his last time out. It was a win by flush knockout. Now he'll try to keep the momentum going as the challenges get more difficult. You win in the UFC nine times out of ten. The next opponent is decidedly better. That is certainly the case here tonight. Little body kick attempt here, it's no good. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going to He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his legs to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Like well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, big elbow. I oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that Dig exchange. Diggy for a little boy, man. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And now some separation. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Do not back up. Let's go now. Nice job by him defensively there. Mm -hmm. Just over three minutes to go. Both sides with conviction. Single collar tie. Oh, oh. Big one man in the middle. Oh, the Circling to his right. Look at it, look at it. Now, shoot. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Jab there. Under a minute to go on our opening round. Another big 
shot to the head. Oh, nice job getting the guard up to block that one. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Chikadze gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. Now, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on he the did, nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick and sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. What does he do now that he has this clinch position? Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Pretty strong jab there by hmm. Chikadze. Hands higher, hands higher. Swift's on the elbow. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut. And now all the blood is coming from the cut. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just misses there with the left. Oh, and he caught the kick. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Nice job to get inside and get the single title tie. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Chikadze going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Collar tie here in the clinch. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Whiffs on that offer. Chikadze's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Just out of the range with that right hand. Well place kick there by Giga Chikadze. Two minutes to go. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. 
and rip the body there. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Caught him. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Touched him with the strike there. Chikaze's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. And there's that jab. He's going to get himself knocked out. You got to take a moment. He's going to get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. And now some separation. 30 seconds to go. She nods in, gets the takedown here late in the round. It's a strategy you see from a lot of high-level fighters to try to sway the judges late in the round. All right to the mouth. Seconds winding down in round two. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially oh, playing with fire. Good round. Yeah, All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, the round is over, and Chikadze's corner, yes. Definitely concern on their faces about that nose. Perhaps it was broken in that last round. Got to figure that's going to give him fits the rest of the way. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad okay, spot okay. because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood Ready. is dripping down Ready. into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge of reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Oh, tag. Great combination. Oh, my goodness. Back to his feet. Good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Chikadze's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point. In time. All right, well, the ref's going to step in here. He has done a job on his nose. You see what I did there? Nose shot. <laughs> But, John, it's a bloody nose. We've all had bloody noses. We got bloody noses in our first fight at seven years old. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll let him keep fighting. He still seems spirited and mentally in this fight. And to that end, to that end, the doctor will allow him to continue, at least for now. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely. And I'm just as excited myself. I want to see these guys compete. I want to see who wins. I don't want it to stop because of a cut. I want to see the best fighter get their hand raised at the end of the night. Luckily, we get to try to do this. And just misses with that big right hand. Chikadze is an absolute mess right now. There's blood everywhere. I'm not so sure they're not going to stop this fight right now. Strike lands cleanly there. Oh my goodness. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overshoot. How about these two going at it? Oh, look at that. He leapt up. 
top and landed the diving punch to the head. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, Holy smokes! I'm with that man. Sean Whitty. Go to bed. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 26 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Butcher! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. Damn, I didn't put that energy feet on that man. I said, I was beating him up bad, too. They got to give me a title, title shot. They hate. Ooh. I mean, I gotta fight him. I can't turn down a number one contender spot. Deny me a title shot after this. I need every bit of stamina I can get. I need maximum stamina when I'm fighting Max Holloway and go cap. Any nigga want to squabble can fight this stick. I, <clears throat> I, I 
gotta get some rounds. Skills right now. Let's get in there and push. Perfect block. That was great. Let's do another. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Perfect. Nice. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Great block. Remember, repetition is key, and it always pays off. So let's go. Nice punch. Nice punch. You felt that one. Work with your hands. There. Starting to fall apart. I love it. You got 30. Let's go. Oh. Oh, it is. Oh, good job. Yeah. Devastating punch. Awesome job. He just cut something up. I don't even hurt though. Nigga, you ain't hurt me. I was cut. You shined down. Who is it? It was good. Make up on my. Ooh. Me hit me with a. I got 75,000 on my. Um, 75 racks on my. Safe to do it. I still might not be in shape. See, okay. That's probably like the most important there. He gonna try to take me to deep waters. I'm about to knock him out. It's up. I'm about to submit my Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC and the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Butcher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Max Blast Holloway. Ready to fight? Well, it's good to see this man back inside the octagon. Round one getting underway here. As many of you know, he won his last okay. fight by blistering okay. knockout. His popularity has absolutely soared since. So with momentum tonight, he'll try to keep the winning streak and the knockout streak still intact. Nice defense to block that punch. All right, so there it is from the kickboxer. He told us he was going to go to that front kick early. And he did not miss with that one, DC. He didn't miss. He went to the front kick. Expect him to keep going here. Because this is not only damaging, but it keeps him at the range at which that he wants to fight. Establishing the jab here. Fight behind a nice jab. 
Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they oh, were going to well. fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. there by Holloway. Oh, nice and tight leg kick, yeah. Hmm, let me read, Matt. Nice jab. Oh, another blistering combination there, really Let's starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not... One guy just headhunted. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Huge block there. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, big left hook there. Help with you, boy. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. Should have got the fight finished in that time. That's a really strong leg kick there by Holloway. Ooh, big <clears throat> shot lands. I tried to put some power in that. Just out of range with that right hand. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Big right hand. His misses are entertaining. Fast leg kick lands. Lands a big elbow there. Holloway's swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. Watch out, I'm just setting that up. Nice block. Well, you see why Holloway is such a fan favorite. Beautiful land there with the left hand, and now we'll see what he can do with it. Takedown defense holds up. Big knee lands there. Holloway's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. 45 seconds remain in the round. Just misses with the straight left hand. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body. Oh, I'm just setting that up. I'm telling you, I'm setting yeah, that up. Right. To the body and mixing up the attack. Not Ooh, I, I thought he was going to let his hand down. Inside the octagon. Yeah, I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in the round. He did so there. Second round, straight up. Oh. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let's now look back at something. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we are, early round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts.
score tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. So the blood really starting to flow every time that area gets caught. I actually don't do good. I'm sure people that it's getting worse and worse. Are, and you move well and, and come down. Down. throw out the jab. That like to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at, you gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he's hurt bad. Holloway's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. Cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back on. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game time. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Holloway's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken, and we might get a ringside physician or a referee to stop this fight here soon. All right, stay in there, buddy. Recompose. Use your footwork, and let's get focused. Landed that one. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there. All right, so the referee, yes, is going to step in here. He will man, call on the doctor him, to look at that nose Damn. that is unrecognizable at this stage of the fight. His nose is broken. Yeah. I mean, it's turned sideways. The blood's pouring, going down into his mouth. It looks like he's having a very difficult time breathing. Well, it looks as though the fight is going to continue. The referee checking on the athlete one more time. A bit surprising. I didn't know if they would fight. let this guy continue, but Ready. here we go. All right, so the ref will get the action back underway after that brief health and safety check. And to no one's surprise, the fans support the decision for the action. Absolutely. I mean, this official decided you can go. Even though at times the fighter may question whether or not he can do it, we have very smart ringside officials that make a determination. The determination is get your butt out there and fight. Let's see what happens. And we have a very smart fighter who is going to have to start protecting that injury to prevent it from getting any worse. Holloway's an absolute mess right now. This fight might actually get stopped by the ringside physician due to that cut. Oh, big right hand. All right, so a nice shot there, defense. That is a huge shot right there, DC. Both guys doling out a lot of... Oh! Oh, he's in a world of trouble now. Huge knee lands in the Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work and it all comes together. In the fight. It all comes together. Nothing feels better. To go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp and it goes as desired, nothing feels better. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Trying to go for the single leg, quick level change now. Hey! Oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, you. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. All right, so the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling starting.
Oh. And the horn sounds on round two. Heading back to the corner now. Holloway's nose has got to be broken. I mean, there is no stopping that blood at this point in time. And ringside physician probably going to come in and take a look. We'll see. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. Oh, that's how it's done. He blocks the shot and then delivers the straight counter. Pretty good jab there by Holloway. Real quick leg kick. Bunches and bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the oh. He's hurt now. Watch the referee's called for the ringside position. Perhaps enough damage now to stop the fight. Yeah, it's too much. It's too, it's too much. It's over. Stop the fight. Oh, no, I ain't been knocking your body for stopping everybody. Not sure if the nose is broken or just busted up, but blood is splattered right, everywhere. Yeah, that's going to do it. That's the, the, the That's the right call. conclusion, but the right call. The right call, John. All right, let us get you some replays from this one. And if blood is not your thing, perhaps this was not the fight for you. That nose was just fauceting all night and ultimately is the reason the fight is called off. The blood was going everywhere. But hats off to his opponent for landing the strike that damaged him initially, and then him having the wherewithal to continue to go to that area, to continue to go to that strike that ultimately led to the doctor stoppage. All right, we now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. We play the winner by TKO Butcher. Well, still hard to hear ourselves in the cans after a dominant win by stoppage for him here tonight. He knew all the challenges in front of him with this kickboxer, still was able to get it done and get him out of there. He was able to get it done, and he showed that there are different ways of fighting. You can be a fantastic kickboxer, but if you cannot defend takedowns, if you are not able to withstand the storm, you will get taken over, and that's exactly what happened tonight. I was stop everybody. Oh, that ain't give me a billion. Sure. Yeah, he went, he took my spot. <laughs> This is gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy because he hit the hard. This is gonna be a good type of confidence. Easy get this. Easy money. I don't know if I woke up. Well, I guess he did knock him out, but still. He better knock me out.
My clock doesn't stop until you submit it. Let's go. Nice work. Lock him down. Nice, nice. Really great job today. Nice work, lock him down. Now that's the aggression I want to see in your next fight. Great job. Beautiful work today. You did awesome. Nice transition. Yeah, I like that pass. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Nice pass. Excellent job. There we go. That's the position we want. Let's go. Some nice transitions today. You maintained control and moved into some dominant positions quickly. Nice work. No, no, easy. Time to burn and get after it. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's how champions train. Yes, I like what I saw today. That was some beautiful work. That's it. Nice pass. I always, people always give me with that one. Great job in there. Your timing is really on point. Good flow. Oh, yeah. That's how champions train. Good flow. Right, 30 seconds left. Trying to get the master transition. There we go. Nice work, kid. You're on your way to some high level BJJ.
first little whoop and see what it's looking like. See, it would have been risky. I don't know. That should be risky. It's already high. Let me just knock him out. Today, let's go in there and get after it. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes. That punch damaged him. Yes. Let's go. You dominated today. Good work. Good job. Yes. Devastating punch. Great job. Hey, don't worry about it. We'll get better. That's what I'm talking about. That punch damaged him, right? Power. I love it. Let's go. Let me go ahead and get this bed off. Dana said I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, this is it. This is it. You fighting for the title. You did all the hard work to get here. You trained. You sweat. You bled. You earned it. I don't have any more sage advice. I just got one more question. Whose time is it? It's my time. Nah, nah, nah. Fuck that. I didn't hear you. Whose time is it? It's my time! Whose time is it? It's my time! You hungry? Yeah! Then get out there and fucking eat! Let's go! They should have had, well, it's a big show. Well, it's a big show. Well, what a feel-good story for this young featherweight. He has worked Big so hard time. to set up this championship Sorry. opportunity. He puts it all on the line here tonight. The long win streak, all the dues paid, all the hard work. The hay is in the barn. Now he is 25 minutes or fewer away from being belted with the UFC featherweight gold. First UFC title fight. We'll see if he can make the most. 
Good to see this talented fighter make the walk again once tonight. Gotta think he'll look to use his speed and footwork in this fight. Those appear to be his biggest advantages. Maybe not the most powerful guy on the roster necessarily, but exceptionally quick on the feet. I'm Very nice good at that. using his feet to well, set I up know. angles. I know. I'll be knocking offense, people out, but I'll be getting stopped. I'll be knocking people out. 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 I'll be knocking Great job of moving that head off the center line. Just an outstanding striker who brings a lot of different attributes to the table. Nothing quite like this in professional sports. The magnitude of the UFC title fight. And tonight, all eyes are on the undisputed UFC featherweight champion looking to add another major scout to a resume that is full of big names already. Yeah, he's got a lot of big names on his resume already, but this guy doesn't seem to be slowing down at all. He seems so motivated to continue to build on his legacy. He's a, he's a great champion. He's a guy that lived for that championship belt and has all the skills to hold on to that title for a really long time. When you look at this top 15 on paper, it uh, is just a wealth uh, okay, of talent. And yet, this it's is the guy they are all chasing and he has no intention of relinquishing the throne tonight. Well, so much UFC history has played out here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. The athletes are ready to go. Our tale of the day for this featherweight championship fight. The veteran voice to the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Arnold Almighty Allen. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this Great. one. Both southpaws. Yeah. Right, so here we go with round I love one of a possible five this fight to determine the UFC featherweight champion of the world, the number one contender, as many of you know, taking part in his. Oh, I didn't. I beat him. He just did it too tight with me. And they told me I'm not the most hard. He's hard to hard than everybody in the division. barely get the fight clock sponsor out. These gentlemen are going at it. They are here to fight tonight. I cannot wait for this fight to continue. Big right hand. Trying to establish the jab early on here. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Mm. I like to do that. The right hand just misses. Jab yet again out of range. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Connects with a beautiful jab. Just over three minutes to go. Every 
time I throw that, I get hurt. So I'm gonna stop doing that. with that right hand, it's no good. Allen's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. I want a knockout there. Yeah. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Nice punch to the head. Hmm. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Eye is closing up. That punch was deflected. Nicely done. They might have stopped. Good punch, Land. I, I don't do that as well as you do it, but man, he's coming out swinging tonight. He is bringing the heat. This dude is trying to end this night early. Can you give us an ooey, please? Ooh-wee! <laughs> so Alan's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. Big shot lands both up. Level change there, goes for the takedown. All right, setting up for a submission now. That guillotine choke is getting tight, but you can't just squeeze. You gotta get your hips into your opponent if you want him to tap. Oh, hang on a second, he escapes. What a tremendous job. You saw his hands again, the go to the inside. Attack the lock, create some space. Go to your back, girl. give up the ball, but live to fight another day. Look at that. He's a trouble zone. It's over. And Let's go! I'm the UFC champion. Well, everybody in this arena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done. Oh, no, please let me go, no man. Less. I can't breathe. Stop, Setting please. To, man. Uh, to watch an athlete call the shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going submission. to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. We get the official decision with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 29 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Butcher. Well, there are a few things as exciting in this sport as the crowning of the new UFC champion. Can DC get an invitation to the after party? I mean, I'm just course. trying to show up, baby. I already got. I'm I'm ready. I want to celebrate with the champ. I'm the best. I'm the champ. Hell yeah, you are. All the hard work paid off. Man, I just want you to know, I really couldn't have done it without you guys. Nah, I don't know about that. You're a special fighter. Maybe you wouldn't have got here so fast or looked so good doing it, but you always have potential. We couldn't have got here without you either, kid. Ah, oh, that means a lot, coach. Okay, now you're the champ, okay? I didn't plan nothing. You're supposed to have some kind of crazy after party at the club, right? So what we doing? Huh? We popping bottles, we getting pony rides. Come on, coach, what do you mean? Oh, come on, you didn't plan anything? Again? What are we gonna do now? I know, I know, I know. I'm the coach, but guess what? You're the champ, kid! Yeah! I am! Let's go! <laughs> Davis MMA! Woo!